Hello everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Awakening. In our last episode, uh, Angelus has returned back in the scene. He was on his way to Vigil's Keep to uh, investigate some bizarre happenings with Darkspawn. The Darkspawn that were kind of left behind. Um, after the blight hit um, and all that good stuff, uh, with a companion named Moiri. And along the way, we picked up a few more uh, characters, including a mage named Anders and our old friend Ogryn. Um, and then we ran into a talking darkspawn of all things, guys. That's pretty original. Uh, went through the joining, and unfortunately, Moiri was not able to make it through and become a Grey Warden but Ogryn and Anders were. So now we're gonna explore the keep a little bit and uh, looks like we've got a bunch of people we need to talk to. Let's start with this strapping handsome young man over here, Captain Garavel. Commander. This is Sir Garavel, the new captain of the guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Captain Garavel kinda has a really sexy voice too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh... Anything important, Captain? Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. Mm, you saw, you, did you notice that slip? He was like, the Orlesians, uh, I mean, wardens. Mm, not a very good first impression, Captain. Uh, what did the hunters claim? These hunters, Colbert and... Well, the other one. Claimed to have stumbled across an entrance to the Deep Rose. Huh. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Hmm. Where is Colbert? Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Hmm. Commander. Alright. Looks like we've got... We've got a quest now, um... Talk to Colbert about his discovery. Captain Garavel reported that two hunters stumbled upon what seems to be a cave full of darkspawn. He just suggested that you see whether there's truly, whether whether there's any truth to the matter. Colbert and his friends are in the city of Amaran of Amaranthine. Okay. Um, Mistress Woolsey. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Woolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. That's pretty true. You're from Weishaupt? As in the places, the essential mothership of the Grey Wardens? Not Weishaupt itself. I'm from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. Mm. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. If you say so. I mean, Angelus, staying in character, Angelus kind of wants to stay away from politics, and, you know, he's a lot of this, he's just gonna nod and smile and say, oh, "Okay, sure, sure, why not? Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. You do you do that, whatever it is you just told me that we should do." <laughs> uh, so exactly, how do I deal with this? Because me as Angelus has no clue. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn or whatever they are are striking. Hmm. So, really, Angelus's most concern is the safety of these people, I think. He, I think he cares more about the safety of innocent people and less about, uh, about the, uh, the strategy and what she's referring to or talking about. I mean, I as a player understand exactly, exactly what she's saying, but, um, I can... <laughs> In character, I can see a lot of this going way over Angelus' head. He's like, oh, okay, sure. Um, hmm. 
Have you ever been to Weishaupt? No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed, Ooh. but their like will never be seen again. Angelus loves griffins. He really, really loves griffins, if you remember his conversation with Wynne. Oh, that felt so long, so long ago. Win, I miss thee. Um, this sounds kind of rude. I don't know if Angelus would say this. Um, he tries to be respectful to his elders. Um, because of because of his experience in the um, in the alienage, I think I think he kind of learned that you kind of have to respect your elders. You're the elderly over there. So why does the first warden care about amaranthine? Uh, or amaranth? Um, amaranthine. I can, I can never pronounce that that city right. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, oh. it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story and that of the Warden's exile is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, mm. at great personal risk. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. That's right. Levi of the Jeans Dryden. It's pretty cool. I, f I forgot. Uh, it's really cool that they um, this, this, this expansion um, references your experience going through that specific DLC at uh, Warden's Keep. I, I, that's, that's pretty awesome. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna say that'll be all, Mistress Woolsey. Very well, Commander. The Righteous Path. Uh, merchant caravans are being attacked on the Pilgrim's Path between Amaranthine and Denerim. To learn more, speak to Mervis, a representative of the Merchant's Guild in the city of, of Amaranthine. Well, I guess we're going to Amaranthine since two of our side quests tell us we need to go. All right, Seneschal Varel. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the Vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. Uh, why was Kristoff in the field? The Orlesian Wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the Blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Hmm. Uh... Why aren't the Darkspawn returning to the Deep Roads? Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the Wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> yeah... Right. Did Kristoff reveal anything of what he found? He did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Hmm. Amaranthine isn't small. How will I find him? Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Always the inns and taverns with these games. Is there anything else, or can we talk of other matters? That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Well, uh... Um, don't take this personally, sir, but, um... What does a Seneschal do? As much as you like, sir. Really? Generally, the Keep's Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. Can I Can I get a pony? I mean, I, I think that can be a really important day-to-day -day matter. I, 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 for this specific day, I'd like a pony, sir. I mean, if you, if you say you can do anything I want, then make a pony, and maybe this afternoon, can you, like, I don't know, dance... Gangnam style or something to entertain me that that would be kind of awesome. Thank you. And with that, I just dated this video. <laughs> with that, oh, I just dated my video. I really need to stop doing that. Um, could, can you tell me more about Vigil's Keep? We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Mm. 
much death here. Wow. All right. Well, farewell, sir. The Awakening. Captain Garav Captain Garavel Seneschal Varal and Mistress Woolsey have provided you with leads relating to the dark spawn. You should investigate as soon as possible. Shadows of the Black Marsh. A Grey Warden named Kristoff was absent from Vigil's Keep when the Darkspawn attacked. He was sent to discover why the Darkspawn were so active with the Blight defeated. Seneschal Varel believes Kristoff began his inv investigation in the city of Amaranthine. Of course, all signs point to Amaranthine, of course. Do you have anything else to say, Garavel? Commander. Um, what do you know about the Darkspawn attack on the Vigil? My predecessor, Captain Rollins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I saw. Um, the Darkspawn leader talked. I heard him. That is disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Mm. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. So the Darkspawn are evolving, or learning, becoming smarter. That's... That's a little disconcerting. How many soldiers survived the attack of the Vigil? Barely any, truth be told. And none of the wardens. Oh, gosh. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. It's kind of disappointing that the wardens here didn't survive the Darkspawn attack. Huh. Uh, where did the Darkspawn come from? I talked with the dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the keep itself. Hmm. The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. All right, well, I have other business to attend to. Farewell, sir. Good day, Commander. You too, uh, Mistress Woolsey. I'm here to serve, Commander. Uh, I think I already asked all of this. Yeah, that would be all. Very well, Commander. And I don't think you have anything new to say, right, Farrell? Commander. Uh, yeah, nothing. All right. Well, looks like our party is here. Why don't we start with? Oh wait, there's stuff. There's stuff here. Weapon stand. Right. Ooh, Chevalier's mace, Dumont's spine. This is tier eight. Ooh, wow. Um. 0.75 stamina regeneration, combat plus six attack, 25% backstab damage. Well, I don't backstab, so that probably will not be as useful to me. Oggles. Oggles. Hey, man. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah. Now we know <laughs> that is the real Oggles. Ah! Who, who's there? Um. Did I, did I start, did I startle you, buddy? I was, uh, I was just keeping my nose to the dust. You know, watching out for the Schleets. One of the lads here told me about the Schleets. Said they're common in Ferelton. They, they lie on the ground, looking like ordinary pairs of pants. Until you turn around. That's when they, they strike! Schleets? That sounds a lot like... That sounds a lot like a creature that you can find in Dr. Seuss somewhere. I feel like... I feel like Schleets... Looking like a pair of pants, really? Um. Oh, those Schleets. Right, right. You've heard of them. Of course. Pants that eat your eyeballs. After they're done with you, they just wander off on their unnatural pant legs. So, Ogren, you are fantastic. Uh. Oh? You weren't told the best part? Best part? Um. Never mind. You have enough to worry about. Best not to tell the others. Don't want to panic on our hands. Of course not. Oh, Ogren. Ogren, Ogren. On it. Hey, I gotta... 
I gotta thank you for saving my hide today. There was that guy, and he was all, and I was, but then I got hit by an arrow. To the knee? And then I fell over, and it was me, but you were there, and you were all, spectaculous. <laughs> spectaculous. I also love how, in order to actually have a conversation with Ogren, you have to click the cask. Like, when I click on him, he doesn't really say much, but as soon as I click on the big giant vessel that contains alcohol, that's when he starts talking to me. Um, happy to help. I'm gonna drink to you, Commander. Here's to the... Here's to the... Uh, Good night. Oh. Yeah, we're used, <sighs> we're used to this. Ooh, I'm gonna prove three. Here's what I don't get. Why is Ogren back to neutral? I mean, we're be we're we ended, you know, Dragon Age Origins as best buds. Why are we back down to neutral? That doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. It really should, you know, it really should follow over. Maybe if you created a new warden, then yeah, this would make more sense, but I don't know. Need something pummeled? Just say the word. So, what about it, huh? <laughs> what about what, Ogren? I was thinking about my plan for a grand fleet of Mabari chariots. Well, that's right. Talked to your dog about it once. Didn't seem impressed. Thing is, the Grey Wardens could use a snazzier image. Everyone thinks we're a grim stick in the muds. Oh, and the ladies love them chariots. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah, I remember there was specifically a banter between Ogren and um, Sky, my dog, about <laughs> riding on him or using a chariot. So that's pretty funny that he referenced that. Hey, you. Is you there? You. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, Ogren. Oh, you're a tricky one, but you're not getting into my head. Oh, no. You with your murmuring, your buzzing. I know your plan, but it won't work. I'm on to you. Uh, are you all right? I'm just fine. Watching you, got eyes in the back of my, yeah, back of my, oh. Oh, okay, Ogren, oh. I'm just gonna let you, you've passed out enough, I'm just gonna let you stay passed out and talk to more people. I might come back to you later. Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. Ooh, shop. The merchant you saved was grateful to be alive. Restock me for a bargain. The savings are yours, of course. You need anything, Commander? Sure. Yeah, let me see what you got. Whoa. Wow. Look at look at all this stuff. Alright. Ah, oh, sheesh. Ah. Uh, there's a lot of recipes that I don't think I need right now. Grandmaster Lightning Rune Tracing. Grandmaster. I mean, I've got a lot of. A lot, a lot of gold. Um. Scout's bow, golden cog, plus four willpower, plus four magic. Scout's medal, ooh, blood of the warrior. Storm charlatan's walking stick. This might be a neat thing to give to Anders, maybe. Um, perhaps. Although Anders, I might actually give a sword to eventually if he's going to become a, a warrior. Well, a mage warrior. Um. Yeah, this is for for making runes, which uh we're not gonna do right this moment. But um, I might want to sell some things. So I don't need this injury kits. I definitely want my stamina droughts. I don't use poisons. I have a really bad, like I'm really bad with um not using, um, not using consumables because I always feel like 
I might need it for something later and then you know that later happens and then I'm like well I, I, I this is pretty tough but there might be something even tougher later and yeah it just keeps going from there so um, longsword chevalier's mace yeah I think we're gonna get rid of these yeah these are a whole bunch of bows that I don't really care about and yeah get rid of this got a lot of arrows I need to get rid of Maline staff oh I might give that to give that to Anders repeater gloves eh, heavy chain mail studded leather yeah these are all Moiri's things I don't really need these at the moment yeah I'm just gonna get rid of these because I, I have way too much stuff in my inventory and I, I gotta get rid of them oh Kaelin shield uh, heavy metal shield adventures Fuck reflection. I there aren't. I also don't think that we have a storage area. I, I could be wrong. At least I don't remember having there be a storage. So that's that's going to be a bit of a problem. Quartz. I don't know if I need any of these gems. Andraste's great. Oh, Andraste's grace. I might give that as a gift to someone at some point. Okay. Let's see. All right. Person. Oh, we do have personal personal store. Heck yeah. Yes, person. We have a silver cog. Okay. So this for Maritome, I tried using it off off camera, and it did seem to be working very well for me. So I'm gonna dump a bunch of things in here. Um, Warden companion. I'm gonna keep Dumat's spine for the time being. Um, this looks like a really nice weapon, though. Um, Ooh, that's right. Let me keep the Warden's Command, Warden's Companion. And there's a whole lot of arrows here. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need... I might need that, we'll see. Um, I'll come back here in a second. Okay. Armor Stand, Trickster's Tunic. Ooh. Chainmail Spooth Commander's Helm. Sure, why not? Books, 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 books. Blank vellum, verses of dreams, poetry inspired by the fade. Ooh, okay, so there are uh, more gifts. That's right. Grandmaster's hail rune tracing. Okay. The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. Ooh. In addition to my diplomatic function, I am a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Ooh, uh, I'd like to have something enchanted. Of course. Enchantment, blight blood. That's right, I don't have very many runes at the moment. I'm gonna put this here, and... Ooh, Battle Dress of the Provocateur. Yes. Yes. Angelus, you can add all of these. <laughs> you can add all of that. And... That's it for now. Perfect. Alright, let's talk to, um... Our other... Our new, other, our new friend here, Anders. He's a pretty handsome young man. Angelus, Angelus kind of likes him. Should we get a move on? Should we get a move right, on? Well, we guess we can't talk to you very much, Anders. Did I? I already looked at this book, right? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. Codex. Vassals and their lieges. And these books. Warrior's Heart, a book on various orders of warrior, with particular emphasis of the Grey Wardens, Ash Warriors, Legion of the Dead, and Silent Sisters. Oh, cool. Grandmaster Frost Rune Tracing. Okay. I think that's it for now. Let's see if Ogren has anything else to say before we leave. Wow. Didn't think so. Alright, let's quick save here before we get out. As you wish. Ooh! Alright, new party selection screen. Let's throw our new Yes. Friend Anders. Yes. I love Anders' hair. Really, really like Anders hair. And uh -huh. ogles. Nice. Let's check out the rest of the keep, shall we? Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. Right. A while back they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye he did. Half joking they said he might make a good recruit. Uh where's this thief now? 
He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Really? Yeah, show them to me. Just give me a moment. I love letters. A daughter ransomed. Commander of the Grey, I am Sir Edgar Bensley, a faithful vassal. My daughter and sole heir, Eileen, has been kidnapped by Molesley the Snake's vile lot of miscreants. Not miscreants! My fief is, a, is small and my means meager, and they have demanded thirty sovereigns in a time frame I cannot meet. I pray you will intercede on my behalf. The ransom is to be delivered to the abandoned Chantry by Forlorn Cove. If you produce the ransom, I swear by my faith in Andraste that I will repay you in time. You and my gentle daughter go with my prayers. Can't I just go after the, you know, go after the people who kidnapped your daughter instead of just giving them a ransom? I think that would be a lot better, but whatever. Far afield, most honored commander. Ever since my husband passed, I've been looking f after my family and the hired hands, but the dark spawn have been getting worse. We've a Templar who checks on us occasionally, but there's a limit to what he can handle. If you can help my family, we'll tell La Lord Edelbrecht you're a friend. I fear we may have, we may not have much time. Good wife, Valina Ternoble. Ternoble. Okay. Alright. 